Hey there, welcome back. And cheers. It's been a long day. I've been working on the fish pond over here. And uh, if you recall in the last video, I mentioned to you that it, the challenge I'm facing with this pond right now is that my fish have been breeding. So I've got a lot more than I had planned for. The older fish are getting pretty large. The younger ones, there's a lot of them. And so they're producing a lot of waste. Uh, more waste than the filter system that I had was capable of handling. And so that's causing the water to be murky, um, unsightly and unhealthy moral, moreover for the fish. So we needed to address that and that's what we've done today. And so I'm going to show you what I've done. But I want to put this out there that the plan that I have is, for this is not perfect. I mentioned before these pools are not the perfect setup uh, or even an ideal setup for an aquaculture or aquaponics type system. The problem for me with this right now, the biggest problem, is that because it's a pool, one of these above ground pools, I cannot punch through the side to put in an overflow pipe that would lift solids off of the bottom and then head to a filter system and to a sump and then pumped back into the pond. So rather than pumping into the pond from a sump outside of the pond, I have to pump out from the pond. So the pump sets in the water. And what that causes then is the large solids that normally we could pass through to a radial flow settler or a swirl filter um, something to separate those solids before actually going to the filter system, those solids are getting macerated by the pump. So I'm going to use a couple of radial flow settlers here, but they're going to be nowhere near as effective as they would be if the pump was not in the water. So if you're planning to build a system, Keep that in mind because that is something I did not know about uh, when I built this. And now I was just leaping in, trying to get my feet wet, and of course that comes with mistakes and this is the big mistake. Just note that with these types of systems, you cannot do a, a solids lifting overflow. At least but I'm aware, if somebody out there knows how to do it with this, please let me know because I'm all ears. But let me show you what I've done um, and then we're gonna follow up and see how this thing is working, okay? I'm sorry this intro was so long, but let's get into it. Here we go. Okay, so previously, what I had that worked really well for a long time with my pump sitting down here, it pumped up and ran over to that corner where I had that barrel sitting up on that table over there. So it was well above the pond. It was pumping up and down in through it to it through a bunch of filter media and then draining out the bottom. <clears throat> that worked great for a long time until it didn't. And so that's where we're at today. Now I've made these changes. I'll show you what I've done. So the pump still sets here and it goes over there to those drums, which are our radial flow settlers. Here we have a, um, I don't know if you call this a clean out, but here I can unscrew that, put on a hose to flush out if I wanna do a water change. I have a shutoff valve. You'll notice that this is tied here, and that's just because I didn't want to actually glue this section right here, just so that I can take this off if I need to. So I just tied it so that it won't come apart from the force of the water. Come around here and you can see that we have this Y and this is to divert the water into the two separate tanks. And the purpose for that is because I have a high powered pump that pushes a lot of water through at a high speed and I wanted to slow it down to give it enough time for the solids to hopefully be able to settle. And so what happens now is it comes into the side here, it goes down makes a U-turn, comes back up into this stilling well where the water trickles out. 
There is a sponge filter in each one of these to hopefully collect some of the solids before they go down. The stilling well I made from two five gallon buckets that are stacked on top of each other. Okay, which gets us a stilling well that goes almost all the way to the bottom, maybe six inches or so off of the bottom. I don't know if that's the right thing, but it seems appropriate to me that it would give them more time that hopefully the solids will fall to the bottom. Clear water will then come back up and out. Same thing is occurring over here where they meet up and join and the water comes back down, going in over here into the filter. Comes up through all of the filter media, which is a bunch of sponges. Um, there's some shade cloth and then there's some polyfill material here for a fine collection. And then it grows up, back out. And uh, so it's yet to be determined whether this is actually gonna work. Again, macerated material may not fall to the bottom. Hopefully it does. I'm all ears though. If anybody else has a better suggestion, happy to hear it. So if you got ideas, share those with me. Otherwise, we're gonna check back in 24 hours, okay? Okay, so it's been 24 hours and here's how we're looking now. Definitely looking better. Uh, I can see the bottom now where I couldn't see it yesterday. And I can see the fish, which I had a hard time seeing them yesterday. So it's definitely better. Over the next few days, I'm going to clean the filters multiple times per day just to make sure that I get all of this debris out as much of it as I can and let the new system try to catch up. And uh, we should be looking good after that. But I'll let you know if, it, if this is a absolute failure because I'm not 100% sold yet that it's going to work. But it does look better for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.